Welcome to Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, our special holiday show. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. This show is all about the holiday season and how it affects your home, your family, and how it affects you. I tell you, we've got a great lineup for today's show. We do. Looking for a good read? Want to find a good book for that special person? We've got suggestions for the hottest and latest books for the holiday season. And when you're not reading a book, how about excellent TV programming? We've got that for you as well. Plus styling tips and a little action in the kitchen. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces Holiday Special. A good read makes a fantastic holiday gift and also makes a great gift for yourself. Treat your loved ones to a good book, and there are some great choices out there this holiday season. Absolutely. I got together with someone in the know to help decide which books may be on your holiday shopping list. There are some great choices this season. Take a look. What better way to spend the holidays than curled up with a good book? That's a gift-giving hint from Designing Spaces. We all know people who enjoy a good read, and giving books can be lots of fun. But how do you choose titles your friends and family will love? Joining us on our holiday special is just the person to share some pointers. Jennifer Enderlin is the associate publisher at St. Martin's Press and has worked in book publishing for 20 years. Jen, welcome to Designing Spaces. Thanks, Debbie. It's great to be here. Now, I know you're going to give us such wonderful suggestions today, but before you do, I want to give everyone at home a chance to grab a pen and paper right now to write down these great book titles Jen's going to share with us. So before we get into the titles, I have to ask you, how do we pick the perfect book for our friends and family? Well, the first thing you should do is think about the books that they've liked in the past. Okay. That's the first key. But I would also think about things like their hobbies or even mm. movies that they've liked. Oh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I noticed you have a lot of Christmas books here. So let's talk about those. Absolutely. Well, we have The Christmas Secrets by Donna Van Leer. Now, you might know her name. She's a New York Times yeah. best-selling author, and she wrote the book The Christmas Shoes. <gasps> That's it. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a great song and movie, actually. Yes, yes, it was a song and a movie, and the song has been a Christmas favorite for 10 years almost. I love it, yeah. Yeah, so Donna Van oh, Leer. I'll have to read that one. Her newest book, The Christmas Secret. Okay. Now, we also have Christmas Miracles by Cecil Murphy. This is a collection of true Christmas stories. Very, mm. very heartwarming. Oh, that's nice. And I then, like to hear that. And then we also have A Wallflower Christmas by Lisa Kleypas. Mm -hmm. This is really romantic. This is a historical romance set at Christmas time, and she is a big best-selling author that lots of readers love. Do you see that a lot of well-known authors come out with different books at the holiday season? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. For example, we have Barbara Taylor Bradford here. Now, she is the blockbuster best-selling author of A Woman of Substance, and this is her newest book called Breaking the Rules. Hmm, okay. And then for the person on your list that likes international intrigue, we have Stephen Kuntz's The Disciple. This is perfect for anyone who likes those thrills. Mm -hmm. We also have To Try Men's Souls by Newt Gingrich. This is historical action adventure featuring George Washington as a character. Oh, that's going to be a good gift. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It. I have a couple of people in mind for that one. <laughs> now, another one I want to talk to you about is The Brutal Telling by Louise Penny. Mm -hmm. This is a mystery. This is an author that People Magazine has said she's impossible to put down. Really? So for the mystery lover on your list, they'll Ooh, love this one. Okay. And I also have to talk about the Hungry Girl books. Now, Hungry Girl is a phenomenon that's sweeping I've the nation. I've never heard of that. Hungry Girl is amazing. She, these are cookbooks, and she tells you how to take any fattening food uh -huh. and make it guilt free. Okay, it's must read for me. She has out a new recipe card deck called Chew the Right Thing, just okay. in time for the holidays. I have to try that one. Oh, okay, this name is ringing a bell for me, Augustine Burroughs. Now, mm -hmm. didn't he write Running with Scissors? Was that Running it? Running with Scissors. Because that yes. was a movie with uh, Alec Baldwin and Annette Benning, right? Yes. Okay. Augustine Burroughs is the author of Running with Scissors, and boy, he is so funny. This is a collection of hilarious Christmas essays, and the book is called You Better Not Cry. Okay, that sounds good. I might have to try that one, too. Lots of great 
suggestions. What about for people who love the Twilight movies? Are there books for them that they would enjoy? Well, we have a paranormal bonanza on the table. I just want to tell you about a few of them. PC Cast and Kristen Cast are a mother and daughter writing team, and they write for the young adult audience. Okay. Their latest is called Tempted, and these books are set in a vampire high school. Hmm. Okay, that's different. Yeah, absolutely. I like that idea. And then we have Allison Noel. Her latest book is called Shadowland. She also writes for the young adult audience, and her mm -hmm. books are the Immortals series. Okay. And she's getting lots and lots of attention, and her fans are growing by the day. And then Sherilyn Kenyon is a number one best-selling romance author. She is great with the paranormal romance. She has a new trilogy out right now, and the first one is called Born of Night, then Born of Fire, then Born of Ice. Okay. So for your paranormal fans, these are books definitely for them. Good suggestion. And I can't forget the funniest title on this list. What's this one? This is by our New York Times best-selling author Lisa Scottolini. Mm -hmm. This is a collection of funny, hilarious essays with the best title, "Why My Third Husband Will Be a Dog." <laughs> that is a good title. That's a good one. <laughs> Very cute. Okay. Lots of great uh, suggestions. Gift giving are really just for ourselves mm -hmm. because reading is such a wonderful thing to do. It relaxes you. Great hobby and around the holiday, what a better gift. And right? give a gift to yourself, too. Exactly. I like it. Jen, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I loved being here. This was fun. To watch this part of the show again and catch some of those titles, go to our website at designingspaces.tv. Also check out stmartins.com slash designing spaces, where you can find sample chapters and other information to help you with your holiday book selection. Happy holidays. Okay, let's get ready. We had a good cross-section of subjects on today's holiday special, and I'm sure many of our viewers found great ideas for gifts within the last half hour. That's right, and there's so much more to go. We've got another holiday special coming up next week, and we still won't be able to get it all in, so expect lots of holiday cheer from Designing Spaces. And that about wraps it up for today's show. I'm David Jones. I like that wraps it up. Mm-hmm. Presents. Got Packages. It. And I'm Debbie Murray. Have a safe. And happy holiday, holiday season. season. Bye-bye. Right. Kitchen. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.